friends and welcome to another video. I am very very excited about this weekend and I'm excited to take y'all along for the journey of this weekend. Um, I've been wanting to read two books um, that I'm very very excited about and also I have family coming into town and we're gonna kind of show them Chicago so I thought it'd be a perfect time to show y'all some amazing things about the city that we live in. I absolutely love living here so um, kind of just like a fun reading vlog slash like exploration uh, weekend. I'm very, very excited. Uh, but the first thing that I really wanted to do today was officially start and perhaps finish reading Wayward. I have seen this book absolutely everywhere for the past like month or so. And just like looking at the cover, I knew this was a book for me. I mean, this is just absolutely gorgeous. I adore the cover of it. So it's supposed to be about three women who are all like related, like descendants slash ancestors to each other. Um, and they're all connected by a cottage. And it, there definitely seems to be some like witch vibes here. And I'm just very, very excited about it because I I just absolutely love <laughs> Matt, like the magic and the focus on nature when it comes to like witchy books like this. So super, super excited to start reading it and give it a shot. So yeah, let's go. Alright, um, I have to get ready to go, but I am really enjoying like the setup of the book so far. Um, it kind of jumps between the perspectives of the three women and they both kind of have like equal parts in the book, which is really nice and I really enjoyed that. Um, I also, it's kind of has like a mystery vibe to it. There's um, things that are slowly being revealed through the three narratives and the three different times which is awesome i really like this like family uh mystery being revealed in that way um yeah it's very very interesting so far um i will say um definitely 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 look up trigger warnings in this book um there are mentions of things that could be very hard for some people to read um, so I just want to put that out there <laughs> for people who, um, don't like having, like, dark topics in books and things like that. Definitely, uh, has those in it in, like, the first few chapters. So, um, just be aware of that. Maybe look stuff up if you want to read it. But I'm really, really enjoying it so far. And I'm really loving just, like, the, uh, just the women who are the protagonists of this books. They're just really, really interesting characters and I can't wait to dive in more. But... I have to get ready <laughs> to go. Um, it is maybe going to rain today, hopefully not. Um, but if it does, it's just, we're gonna roll the punches. Um, so I am gonna grab probably my raincoat and some umbrellas and we're gonna head out. So <laughs> let's go. spending the rest of the evening just finishing up Wayward I could not put it down um, which is just a really great feeling I haven't had that feeling with the book in a while so that was just 
very, very fun. Exploring kind of like the downtown area of Chicago was really, really fun. Um, if you are visiting or you just live in Chicago and haven't done the architecture tour yet, um, I highly, highly recommend going and doing it. It is so fun and it honestly is like the best way to see the city. I just, I've done it like four times now when like family comes and visits or friends come to visit and it just gets better every single time. I just cannot speak highly enough about that tour. It's amazing. But either way, um, I do want to chat about uh, Wayward for a minute uh, before I jump into my next book, which I am so excited about. But let's chat about this. I, again, just highly enjoyed this book. It was really, really, um, it was a really cool way to do like a family drama slash mystery slash thriller. Um, I thought each story was really, really interesting. However, I did really enjoy Violet's story the most, which was like the middle ancestor, <laughs> the, the one that was in the middle of the three women um, in time. I thought her story was really, really fascinating. I really enjoyed like watching her overcome her struggles that she was going through and also felt just like the best written. I just liked her like inner dialogue more and all of those things and I also enjoyed how her like section of the story uh, had like the most to do with the mystery of the um, novel. Her story had like the most like uncovered during her time and so I just found it more interesting because of that. However, all three women's stories were just, again, fascinating. I loved all of them. I don't want to give too much away specifically about their stories, but I really enjoyed reading about how each, um, each woman kind of overcame a very, very big, like, really difficult struggle and how they all were connected in that. And it very much is in line with a lot of like women's rage narratives. Um, it reminds me quite a bit actually, just it, like in vibes, not necessarily in like tone, um, to promising young woman. Um, just like the like overall theme of that movie is very similar to the themes of this book, um, which, you know, who doesn't love just like a good woman's rage and revenge story? I. It was great. I really enjoyed it. And I loved the uh, just like subtle magic um, with like the witch narrative. Um, it just added a lot to it. Um, and I do feel like just, you know, the story of witches in general suits this story very, very well. Um, and, uh, and again, I don't want to say too much because I'm worried that I'm going to spoil a lot of the story given that it is like a mystery. You're trying to figure out what's going on with these women. Um, so I'm not going to say too much more about it, but I did really, really enjoy it. I thought the writing was great. I loved each woman's stories. They stood on their own very, very well and were interconnected in a very perfect way, which I feel like is very hard to do with like a three person narrative. Um, it was great. Um, I believe there might be a second book. I'm not sure. The ending is a little vague when it comes to that, so that could be exciting, but it stands on its own very, very well, which I loved. This is just a wonderful book, especially if you really are into kind of like the witchy nature magic vibe. I feel like you'll definitely love this. All in all, I think I'm going to give it four stars. Um, Again, there were some things that didn't quite fit right, um, and I think that was mainly because I enjoyed Violet's story a little bit more than the other two, but it's an amazing book. I absolutely loved it. I highly recommend you check it out. But yeah, so now that I'm done with Wayward, I am so, so excited to officially start reading a book that I've been waiting for literally all year, um, and that is Yellow Face by R.F. Kong. I had just started reading her books with The Poppy War, like the very, very beginning of this year. I read The Poppy War in like a 24 hour challenge. And yeah, I just absolutely love her writing. And the premise of this book is crazy to me. Um, so basically the premise um, is a two writer friends. There is um, a woman named Athena, 
who is an Asian American woman who is a very popular and prestigious writer and she is friends with a woman named June who wasn't as successful in her writing career um, and one night the two of them are hanging out and Athena ends up passing away um, and June steals her latest work and is attempting to pass it off as her own. Um, so that is the premise of this book. I believe it's written in June's perspective. So I'm just very, very fascinated by this idea and I can't wait to start reading it. I just, it's insane. I feel like it's gonna be very much like psychological thriller horror vibes with this like main character who you just know you can't trust. So, oh. Fascinating. I'm just, yeah, let's start reading. <laughs> absolutely insane. Um, I am only a quarter of the way through and I am certain that I'm going to finish this book today. This seems like a book that I am not going to be able to put down for the next several hours. Um, but I just wanted to like pop in and say it is insane to read about this character, this like very unreliable narrator, and just read how she is justifying all of these actions and how this like very horrible thing that she's doing seems right in her mind, um, at least for the time being. It's crazy to me how just like simple her uh, jumps are to like say that she's doing the right thing. And it's clearly not. <laughs> like you as the reader know that she's not making the right decisions, but it's just like, it's not like the logic jumping that she's doing is, I don't know, it's just wild to me to read this and see how she's justifying her actions in this way and yeah, absolutely wild. Um, I definitely think that at least at the moment I'm really enjoying our Kong's like jump into the satire, dark humor world. Um, right now I think she's doing an absolutely fantastic job. Um, I'm really enjoying it. It's just insane. Like, I'm absolutely blown away at this moment in time. Um, I will say it is extremely different from her other novels. Her, uh, you know, the, all the Poppy War and Babel, I feel like, kind of come into that, like, fantasy uh, genre, and this is definitely not. This, I think, is the most like contemporary um, her books have ever been, um, but I'm still really enjoying it and I feel like she's done a very good job in the genre so far. Um, I'm not finished with it yet, but I am very much obsessed with what she's doing with this book. It is wild. So um, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna keep reading. Um, I am not gonna lie, I might not see you guys until I finish this book, <laughs> just because I am really diving into it at this point, um, but yeah, wild. Okay, let's keep reading. <laughs> done with yellow face um, I literally spent the entire day reading it I could not put it down but wow 
Um, all the things I said at the beginning still very much hold true. Um, it, it was still fascinating to see her just like slowly descend in um, just this like cycle of justification and slowly just becoming worse and worse through that. Um, I also absolutely loved the like satire just elements throughout all of this um, discussing the publication industry, discussing cancel culture, discussing um, the question and the debate over who's allowed to write certain stories. Everything that is surrounding the book industry <laughs> um, was very very present in this book. It was fascinating to say the least. Um, I absolutely loved how meta it was. It was just it was a really interesting read and I'm very pleasantly surprised on how well this book is written um, because if you don't know, R. Kong's uh, Poppy War series and also Babel are very much in kind of like, again, like that fantasy genre. So I was very, very happy that her writing translated just as well into a very, very different genre of book. Um, it is very much just dark humor um, and satire um with a little bit of just like horror elements in it which i loved i just feel like it was a very big genre jump for um R. kong but she did wonderfully it was very very beautifully written and just proves that she's a incredible writer um i will say that i did not quite love the ending um i feel like it was a little bit rushed pacing wise um and i feel like it was just there to like end the book um however the ending was definitely not like the important part of the book um it was definitely just the journey like throughout this um it was uh, just crazy <laughs> yellow face is definitely one of those books where you just hate the main character you do not like her she's not someone you're rooting for at all um and you still can't look away you still can't help but keep reading because you're just like watching the train wreck happen um that was again also very fascinating and very very hard to do well um so again i just think that speaks to R. F. kong's just like writing she is very very gifted and i've loved absolutely everything that she's put together um again highly recommend reading this book it's incredible and if you've already finished it please let me know down in the comments i'd love to chat with you about it um, especially about like the specifics about the things that happen and what were your thoughts um so yeah if you finished it please let's chat down in the comments because i need someone to talk about this book with <laughs> that can be spoiler friendly um but that being said i think that is going to be the end of today's video um if you've gotten this far in the video Thank you so much for watching um, and if you want to see more bookish slash Chicago adventure content please feel free to subscribe. I try to post every single week around the weekend um, but yeah I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!